Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to your September astrology and it's a very significant month because Mars, the planet of action, is going retrograde in Aries, its favourite sign and this has not happened for 32 years. On top of that we have a grand earth trine. There's a lot to learn, there's progress to be made but it may be slow progress. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey fabulous Scorpio, how are you doing? This month, there is a lot of action, ironically, in inaction. By conserving your energy, which actually you're really good at, you know, you ain't gonna give it out unless you know that you're gonna get the right response in all ways. So you're not gonna go for something if you know you're gonna fail. You're gonna plot and you're gonna plan until you put your energy in the right direction. I have to say though, the full moon at the beginning of this month puts you in the right frame of mind because it's in your pleasure zone. You're thinking about, you're feeling, you're immersing yourself on that full moon. And also you're getting information from the cosmos on what makes you happy, how you can be more creative, how you can be more joyful in your love relationships, how you can be more joyful in your relationships to children, how you can open up to the flow of magic and love in your life and this full moon will give you an answer it's quite intense it's quite deep there are issues to do with commitment who you're committed to why you're committed to them or if you're single are you committed to certain behaviors that are blocking the flow of love in your life all will be revealed in this full moon and then we have mercury going into your psychic zone you are super psychic and you're also able to unearth secrets expect people to tell you their secrets this month as well it's just it's the mercury at the end of a cycle of communication because the mercury at the end of this month is going into your sign so you are able to sort of deal with stuff to, from the past and and think about things talk about things and hopefully come to a conclusion we then have um Venus, the planet of love, going into your career zone. Why is this good? This is good because Venus is the planet of abundance. She is not just the planet of love. So, she, so it's, it gives you a great sort of little uh, frisson of energy that when, when you go for an interview or when you're putting something out there or when you're focusing on your work, you put your love into it and other people experience it as authentic and interesting and attractive. So that's really, really good news. There's a grand earth trine as well, which is helping you sort out your relationships in a, in a, to other people, be that partnerships or be that groups of people. You're feeling more secure in yourself and safer in relating to other people. Sometimes Scorpios have periods of time where they need to go within. They need to back away from people and just process emotions and process what's gone on. You are now be reprogramming yourself to be secure enough to take that time when you need it, but also to put a bit more of yourself out there when you are with others. And there could be a great group dynamic coming up that's gonna really support your journey ahead. And that's great news. And the sun is also trying Jupiter, very positive for you to communicate in groups of people, very positive for you to do a talk, a Facebook Live, uh, to present yourself out there. You touch people, you, you, are, you know sometimes when we get in the zone, and, and what we say, it just feels right. And you can feel other people being receptive to it. You have that vibe around you then. Uh, Mars is going retrograde in your health and well-being zone. So it's a time to really dig deep and look at the patterns in your life. Um, to do with all things. To do with your health and well-being. To do with decluttering. To do with changing patterns that maybe are holding you back. But you're very much focusing on clearing things out and taking back control in a positive way up until January. Uh, but it's, it's, it's important work, you know, it's very important work for you to truly honestly look at what patterns and behaviours uh, are, are putting you off track. We're all doing it in our, in our own ways. Now, Jupiter is going direct, bringing in lots of conversations and ideas. I think this, regardless of the fact Mars is going retrograde, I think this is an exciting month for you for connecting with other people, for putting your ideas out into the universe. It's particularly a, a, a good month for you to cosmically order a, and practice the law of attraction. But whenever we do these things, it's very important to put the practical side of it together. So you say, oh, yes, I want to be a Sunday Times or a New York Times bestseller. Obviously, 
that involves every day sitting down and writing the book otherwise it ca cannot happen so we have to work hand in hand with the universe and you're given all of those tools to do that particularly if you've got a project that may take you six months now is the time to get stuck in because you've got a very good attention to detail and, and you're more disciplined than usual and also the universe wants to give you your wish so work uh, co-create with the universe this month and you'll be surprised at the wonder there's a new, new super moon in Virgo as well so you're mixing with new groups of people your idea of collaboration your idea of putting yourself out there is changing and you're able to ditch things that are, are no longer serving you Juno is going into your side you want partnerships that work but you are you know a, a goddess in your own right so you are in your power. You have the energy of being able to be in your power in partnerships. So all of this is sort of flowing together to give quite a, a cool message about your month. And then we have Mercury going in your sign. And that is, oh, that's wonderful for you because your words have power. Your words are spells. When you speak, other people are automatically drawn to listening to you. And you have amazing conversations towards the end of the month. And you can sort things out and you can transform things with the power of your mind and your words. Um, and of course, um, you have the opportunity to transform. The sun is also going into uh, the last position before it gets to Scorpio. So again, you've got a lot of things to clear up about who you see yourself in the world, about your identity and about do you use your magic? You are very magical. You're one of the most intuitive signs on the earth. Are you using your intuition? Do you believe in the fairy tale? that you can create because some fairy tales you can create that they're, they're not fiction don't put your dreams behind you sort out how you can do the practical for your dreams to come true let's see what the town have to say obviously you can go and visit my weeklies with, packed with information on a weekly basis about what's going on that week and a longer tarot reading but i've decided to pull one card to give you a message on how to deal with whatever energy that card comes up scorpio well this is all about abundance and also it's about generosity of spirit it's about any kindness and generosity of spirit you've given to others could well be rewarded to you this month it, it says open your heart to helping others but also sometimes scorpios are too proud to receive you know allow the universe to give to you allow our patterns of behavior are like calling signal, signals to the universe so if you'll feel that you you know you can't receive help you can't receive support or even somebody might want to give you something and you're like mm, why are you giving me that it's no such thing as a free lunch try and let that go try and uh, one of your messages for this month is just to, to to learn to receive because you deserve it just like anyone else does you know you deserve to receive you deserve to receive big from the universe and you need you need support in your life just like the rest of us i find it hard to receive as well but you know what if ever i have a client that can't receive i do say well how do you expect the universe to give you what you desire anyway that's your lesson do come and see me on facebook live where i'm doing individual tarot readings and instagram at michelle knight michelle with one l Lots of love, gorgeous.